Hello, in this video I'm going to show you what is the World Congress. So what is the World Congress? I mean, what's it about? It sounds kind of cool, right? So in order to get to the World Congress before I get, any, get into the, anything else, I'm going to show you the tech tree here. So you're going to need, need the printing press. It'll enable founding the World Congress once every other civilization has been met. And that kind of is the explanation of how you get the World Congress. So, again, once you discover the printing press, you're going to have to find everybody, whether that be sailing across the world to find that one last person, or whether it may be just riding a horse all the way around the world to find that one last civilization. So, once you go to the Diplomacy tab, this used to be where you just have, you know, your civilizations or mul multiplayer, your friends on here, whichever it may be. All that still is here. You still are able to talk to them. But now there is a Diplomacy Overview, which there was prior to the Brave New World as well, and now there's a World Congress, so you click that button. And of course, in this game here, I'm not the leader, which kind of stinks, but First Congress of Athens. What in the world does that mean? You can have your own personalized thing here. First Congress of, let's say for me, Rio de Janeiro, if I was the leader of the World Congress. But, so what is the World Congress? You'll have resolutions. You'll be able to have proposals. You'll have effects. You'll be leader you'll be a follower, and the like. So that will be the World Congress. Um, and again, it's essentially an early version of the United Nations. So this is the path towards a diplomatic victory if you're seeking that out. Being the chairman also provides several advantageous benefits during the World Congress, such as additional delegates and ability to purge with resolutions. City-states should always be your best friend as well, as they will add delegates to your civilizations once you're in the industrial era, like Florence. They can help me out. Furthermore, the World Congress will also turn into the United Nations once any, any civilization reaches the information era, or at least half the civilizations are in the atomic era as well. So that's an important thing to remember as well. Um, and then the spies in the game now have two abilities rather than the one spy ability that they used to have, so I'll show you that as well. And then let's say, let's say move to France. If you want the spy to be in a diplomat, a spy can be a diplomat if they are placed in the capital of another civilization if you're not at war. Yada, yada, yada. If you have differing ideologies, diplomats will automatically conduct propaganda that provides a boost to, cult to tourism output in the target civilization. So essentially, diplomat equals good, spy equals bad. So diplomat equals culture, and spy equals technology domination. So now they have two purposes rather than the generic one person, person that purpose that they used to have. And that's going to do it for what is the World Congress. Um, check out some of my other videos to check out some of the resolutions and what they do. If you're on YouTube and you're checking this video out, please check out the description. I have my Steam Guides uh, link on the bottom as well there. And then if you're a person coming from Steam Guides or you're just watching this on Steam Guides, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you guys will highly enjoy it. So, thank you for watching.